Hey guys, right, this is my next video. This is should you upgrade the AMD stock cooler. Now what I've done is I've installed the AMD stock cooler that came with my processor, the 3600. I want to see if going from this to a big tower like the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4, if there's a benefit. Also, when you're changing the stock cooler, always do this. This is what you do, like this, like that. Always do it like that. Never pull it out because otherwise the CPU will be stuck straight to the bottom. Always twist, turn, pull. Okay then. Well, from the benchmarks, as you can see, this uh, stock would be cooler. Didn't exactly keep up with the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro. But something I will say is that if you want to upgrade your CPU cooler, there is a lot of options out there. There is the Cooler Master uh, Hyper 212. There's not two branded ones or a single single uh, 120 mil. There's ones from Deep Cool. There's ones from Appair. There's the ones on Amazon which have got fantastic reviews of performance. Um, the this stock Wimpy Cooler literally 85 to 86 degrees on the highest. Um, I was quite surprised. I thought it'd be better, but that was with um, Precision Boost enabled. It was enabled on both, so they're consistent and they're all they're both in an enclosed case. So the fans didn't change, the airflow did not change at all. It was all at the same environment. So yeah, you should buy. I mean, if you're happy with it then obviously but if you if you're just a basic gamer who just wants to game and doesn't care about thermal as much then obviously it's just fine for you but if you're someone who's like an enthusiast type person who wants better cooling um better acoustics as well because the bigger cooler you go the the lower the RPM you can put on the fan, so it doesn't add, make as much noise. So yeah, I mean, if you want to buy it, obviously that's up to you, but I recommend you should, because this isn't, for a basic gamer, gamer it's fine, but if you want to start going into, into video production, editing, uh, rendering, 3D modeling, anything like that, these cool, this cooler will automatically start thermal throttling the CPU. Uh, the, See, the Ryzen 3600 I've got, it would start at 4.2, which is the, 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 the highest the core clock goes. But it after, I'd say about 10 seconds, the performance would go from 4.2. It would go from like 47 to 50 degrees an idle strip to like 75. And then the clocks would literally just go right down. Uh, the lowest I saw it was like... 3.9 gigahertz which is ridiculous um the be quiet i didn't see the i only saw it go down once uh it would dip a little went to hit to about 63 to 64 that's the highest this cooler has gone uh it did dip a little to like 4.15 something like that so that's a little bit but the mark that i mean that's just fantastic uh so yeah I mean, obviously, I've showed you a little bit as well how to remove this in the beginning of the video. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And also, don't forget to check out. I will leave a couple of recommendations in the description if you've got this CPU or even a 3900X. I'll, I'll put a couple of recommendations in there in the description below for you to choose. 
you might choose which one you like i'll put a couple of budget ones and i'll put some high-end ones like the be, be quiet as well as some not too uh, coolers as well so thank you goodbye